Jean, our dandelion queen. It's been a while since we had a look at Jean, but right now is the time that I think is absolutely perfect because there has been so much change in terms of the meta as well as a lot of new weapons and artifacts that have come into the game. Plus with the introduction of so many other characters, it has made Jean's role in specific team a lot clearer than before, which is exactly the reason why we have today's video. And we will dive in depth into everything that has been updated regarding Jean, especially after patch 3.0 release. And with that guys, we just dive straight into the video. So usually when we're using a character, many of you would be wondering how good the character actually is, in which here in this specific case, it's going to be how good has Jean been, and especially how she's been doing after Dendro Reaction release. And so I would say that Jean is still a very, very good character before Dendro Reaction release. Her main role most of the time is going to be a support healer for your team. She definitely can become an on-field DPS due to her kit. Plus, she has the option to deal a lot of damage, especially from her E skills and her burst as well. And if you're someone who is building her as a non-field DPS, she does do quite a lot of physical damage here and there. Regarding Jean's support capabilities, we don't even have to mention much because you know how good it's gonna be due to the fact that she is an Animo character, which is still one of the best support elements in the game until now. Plus, she has her healing capability, which makes her role on a team a bit more important. However, many of the time Jean isn't as popular as a character compared to some other meta healer characters such as Bennett or Kokomi. Or if you want a Nemo resistance shred, then Kazuya has always been the best character to do that plus he gives your team a lot of elemental damage bonus. So usage requirement isn't always has been the best. However, after Dendro Reaction has been released, from what I can see, her role seems to have been a lot more clearer than before. Now the thing is that even with Dendro reactions, Jean's performance is technically still the same because Dendro doesn't really help Animo in any way. So generally speaking, she isn't always the best when it comes to Dendro reaction team. But here's some things that has been made clearer in terms of Jean's role. Is that after patch 3.0, there has been a lot of release regarding Hyper Carry's character, namely characters such as Sino and the Wanderer. Jean actually performs exceptionally well when it comes to being in a hyper carry team. Mainly because hyper carry character just demands a lot of on field time, therefore whatever buff that they are having, they do want it to kind of last as long as the whole duration of their on field time. So most of the time you have to rely on support character that can fulfill that requirement or you just have to switch your hyper carry out a little bit early to reset your support skill which kind of like a loss in DPS already. It's not just because that her dandelion field generally stay on field pretty long but especially when you have a look at Jean C2 she gives a phenomenal buff to your team which is increasing your character's movement speed and attack speed by 15% for 15 seconds and for this skill to be having on a character that have access to healing capability to swirl capabilities and sub DPS damage is a very very valuable thing especially when it comes to hyper carry team. So this skill is locked behind a C2 Jean however I do believe that if you have been playing Genshin Impact for quite a long time you should already have a couple of Jean's constellation. But either way if you still don't have Jean C2 I do bless you good luck because Jean's constellation is just really really good and definitely we'll be talking about that more later on in the video. And so when it comes to how good Jean is going to be I really do believe that she will find a lot of more of her values when it comes to in hyper carry team and considering the fact that there's going to be a lot more hyper carries coming in the future Jean ability is not going anywhere soon next we'll dive a bit in depth into Jean's different playstyle now i won't be going through Jean's skills anymore assuming that you've already know how her basic skill work is that right now Jean mainly has three playstyle first of all it's going to be a nemo sub dps support where you build Jean mainly towards her Animo damage because the E skill 
Tail and her burst whenever it is invested deals a lot of damage guys. And what's good about Jean's healing capability is that she scales with her attack. Therefore the more you build towards Jean's sub DPS damage the more she's going to be able to heal your team through her burst as well. And with this kind of build you can also have her on field 2 so it's kind of like a hybrid build towards Jean and it is one of the most and common Jean playstyle you can build. However a more niche gameplay or a style of Jean that has just been recently discovered which is Sunfire Jean. You probably have already heard of this before because it's a really nice name to have Sunfire. It does require you to have specific build under the right circumstances and under the right setup. However if it is done right it's going to be a very very powerful team if not the most powerful team that Jean can run as well as very fun to play too because this team is unique to Jean. Sunfire will make use of Jean and Bennett's elemental burst mechanic to cause pyro swirl and then reacting with those swirl as well. Now most of the time the interaction will use Jean elemental mastery therefore the build she wants to go to word is going to be pretty much a full EM build if you're playing Sunfire Jean. And then finally we have a physical build Jean which is something I believe that most of you have already aware. However, physical build is just going to be for you to have some fun with and it's not going to be the most optimal for Jean because physical attack just don't have access to a lot of amplifying elements but also many of your enemies do have quite a lot of resistance toward physical damage as well as if you're coming up against a shield and means you're basically stuck. So if you want to build physical Jean that's still very fun to play because she does deal quite high physical damage and it is a gameplay that requires Jean to be on field so if you're a Jean main you're probably going to go down that route. In terms of talent's priority if you're going the normal sub DPS build generally speaking you will want to focus on leveling up her burst first to her skills and then her normal attack if you want. When it comes to Sunfire Jean you want to level Jean all the way up to level 90 first and then next is her burst to her skills and her normal. The reason why you want to level all the way to level 90 is because she gets the maximum output out of her EM at level 90 and then if you're going down the physical route then you want to build her normal first to her skill damage and then her burst. When it comes to best artifacts for each playstyle, generally speaking the 4 piece Veridescent set is still one of the best when it comes to overall support or if you're running a Sunfire Jean. However, we also have access to our newest DPS Anima artifact which is the Desert Pavilion. A very very good artifact set when it comes to Animo DPS. So if you're running Jean as a main on field or general DPS of any kind, this 4P set is the best for her. Now if you're running a physical Jean, then the Pale Flame set is still the best for physical damage output. Also another very honorable mention is the 4P Noblesse. Still one of the best support set out there. So if your team doesn't really have any character that have access to this set already you can have this on Jean so that she buff a lot of your attack for the team as well. Now as far as artifact stats go if you're building Jean on a sub DPS support build then the sands is either going to be an attack percentage or energy recharge. I usually do recommend you to run with energy recharge sands because her burst does requires an AT energy which is a lot. So if you don't have Jean energy recharged at least like 180% or something, she will have a tough time when it comes to burst every rotation, especially when you don't have an Animo character on the team. Goblet here is going to be Animo damage, but if you don't, then attack percentage is still really good because Jean's healing capability does scale with her attack. And therefore, Circlet is either going to be a crit rate or a crit damage. However, when it comes to Sunfire Jeans, then you want all of the sands, the goblet and the circlet to be EM because that's basically the only thing that she focuses on and her energy recharge requirement is at least 160% and above. For physical build, sand is definitely going to be attack, goblet is physical and then circlet is going to be crit ratio. Moving on to Jean's best weapon, the jade cutter still overall is going to be her best option. When it comes to you using energy 
any of her playstyle because the weapon is just so versatile. Plus, it does convert a lot of Jean's HP into her attack, therefore allowing her to do more healing. And it got amazing crit ratio, therefore you don't really have to worry about mean maxing your crit ratio any longer. After that, the Miss Blitter is a pretty good option as well. However, she won't be able to make use of Miss Blitter passive most of the time. But the amount of crit damage and the no more elemental buff damage that it gives to Jean already is still pretty good. Next, if you're using Sunfire Jean, then the Freedom Swan is going to be her best option because of the amount of EM and the amount of passive damage it gives to your team. And then if you're going with a physical build, then the Aquila Favonia is still going to be the best option. Moving on to the four star options, the Black Sword is still overall her best bet because of the amount of crit rate it gives and a pretty decent attack buff if you're having Jean as a non-field character. Other than that, the Aminoma Kaguchi is still one of the best free to play options for you when it comes to sub DPS support. Festering Desire is still there and is still very good if you have it on your account. Now when it comes to Sunfire Jean, if you have a side force weapon on your account, then you can use that because it does provide a lot of EM while giving your team quite a lot of energy recharge which Sunfire team needs quite a lot. The new Tokabo sword that has just been given in this patch event is a pretty good option as well for Jean because it does give her quite a decent amount of EM and it, it is a free to play weapon as well so you can definitely make use of that. When it comes to free to play physical build then the prototype Rancor is still probably the best because we actually don't have a lot of physical sword weapon at this point and generally for overall support if you're lacking in energy recharge then the Favonia sword and the Sack sword is still going to be the best in terms of energy recharge provider. Next we'll touch a little bit on Jean's constellation because she is a standard 5 star character so I will believe that you will have at least a few for constellation during your playthrough. Her C1 gives her E skill a bit more holding time and increase the damage dealt by 40% which is pretty pretty good. What you do want to note though is that in order for the 40% increase to be applied you must hold her E skill for at least 1 second because if you only do a tap on Jean E skill it won't be applied. C2 is probably Jean's best constellation and it is something that you want to have on Jean because I know that many of the time attack speed increase isn't going to provide the most significant damage buff to your character. However, it does make quite a lot of difference when it comes to hyper carry character who is on field a lot because usually those character focuses on dealing a lot of normal attack and you will see a lot of different when you're actually spamming their normal attack. So C2 is a sweet spot that you want to have your Jean on. Now C4 is an absolute beast when it comes to you having Jean on an Anemo team. If you've unlocked a C4 Jean, this is going to be a must have character on every single of your main Anemo DPS carries because it's providing at least a 34% increase to your Anemo team's overall damage, making it a very, very valuable constellation. And then C6 is just giving a little bit more quality of life. It's just there to help your main DPS character dies a lot less. And then next we move on to if not the most important part of the video which is Jean updated team build. Now if you do remember that I've mentioned a lot about Jean main's role is going to be on a hyper carry character which I would say that's the thing that you want to focus Jean's on because generally when it comes to healing and support capability she won't be able to compete with other main meta character like Bennett and Kokomi. But after you have unlocked Jean C2, the importance of a role in the hyper carry team is going to be a lot a lot more. So speaking of hyper carry team, we would know that there's going to be a Wanderer team because he is a newest hyper carry character that have just been released this patch where he can run along with character like Jean, Shangling and Sing Cho. Jean here is definitely going to be exceptionally powerful if she's got C4 unlock, providing your Wanderer an insane amount of Animo damage bonus plus a 15% attack speed increase. You already know how fast the Wanderer normal attacks usually do. With a 15% attack speed increase, it's 
pretty insane. Another hyper carry team is gonna be on a Sino team. Jean works exceptionally well on Sino team because of how fragile Sino actually is due to not having any kind of resistance to interruption. Plus one or two hits and Sino is basically dead. And so Jean is there to save Sino plus giving quite a lot of attack speed increase as well. And then other than that, you can run Yai, Miko and Nahida on a Sino team and your team is technically gonna be perfect. Other than that, we have Jeans on a Shao team. You can run along with Raiden Shogun and Nahida as well because while Shao is doing his thing in terms of plunging attack, we can just have Raiden Shogun and Nahida to do their thing as well to provide off field damage. And then definitely Jeans is going to be very good on any of the future hyper carry character to come as well. Next, we definitely have Sunfire Jean. Now this team generally requires you to run with very specific character in order for it to actually work. First of all, the most important character on this team is going to be Bennett and Jean because you're depending on the swirl reaction that's happening between Jean's burst and Bennett's burst for Pyro Swirl. And then afterward, you have a Hydro character such as Sing Cho for more reactions such as Vaporize and then a main on field character like Raiden Shogun for Electro application plus dealing the most DPS on your team. If you don't have Raiden Shogun, then you can switch this with Fischl and that's totally fine but Raiden Shogun just performs exceptionally well on this team. For this team you do want to keep in mind the rotation order because it is quite strict. You first have to start off with Raiden Shogun's E and then afterward you cast Bennett's EQ so that he sets up his burst and then next you go into Jean's EQ for her burst to set up and then next is going to be Sing Cho's EQ. After that you go back to Raiden to cast her burst. Now since Raiden Shogun is on the team you don't really have to worry too much about burst energy recharge because Raiden already gives your team an insane amount of energy regen so you're pretty much cover on that. Overall it's a very very fun team to play and a very unique team that only Jean has access to so if you're a Jean main you definitely don't want to miss out on this team. After that we have some of Jean's no more team as well which is first of all a Jean freeze team where you run Jean along with a hydro and cryo character on the team and the final option can be any of the flex character you want or Jean running along in a dendro reaction team because Jean is still pretty much a healer character plus even if Animo don't react with dendro specifically Jean's world will still be able to react with any of the elements on the team alongside with dendro for example when it comes to hydro or electro then a team you can build such as Jean, Singcho, Nahida and Raiden is still going to be an absolutely beast and a very very powerful team for you to play as well so as you can see Jean is a very versatile character that have access to very good healing an emo element that support your character very very well with resistant shred to element plus if you have her unlock as c2 and then c4 she is going to be a very important character when it comes to a hyper carry team so i hope that this guide have been able to give you the most updated information regarding Jean because Jean is a standard character so i know that many of you will still be having her after your standard pool or if you do ever lose to a Jean on your 50 50 you can build up her constellation for future build of hyper carry team if you do have any question guys leave it down in the comment section and i will get to you there if you're new to the channel do subscribe to my youtube channel so not to miss out on my future genshin impact videos as i do a lot of genshin builds and other genshin content and with that i wish you a super day and i will catch you on my next video